you just want to see the images and art progression, feel free to skip to a minute 46. Thank you. Okay, so we're back for another Inktober Challenge YouTube Animator Edition. And yes, I know that it is now November, but with all that craziness, I wasn't able to upload or even finish the challenge. But that's okay. I'll just be there. person who finishes last in the race, but at least finishes and at least entered that race. Because, come on, there are only 31 YouTube animators for the 31 days of Inktober. I'll tell you when we get to the place where technically I would have been disqualified for Inktober, which isn't in this video, but we'll, we'll get there. Right, back to the markers, which I have got, which are Ohuhu. I ordered them so I could have some more choice for Inktober, or color choice, but they didn't arrive until a few days after. And plus, I was on a field trip slash vacation during the arrival of these markers. They are a little over 50 or $60 for this whole 120 set, which comes in a variety of colors to choose from, along with a few additional items. And they tend to be almost as good as professional brands such as Prismacolor or Copic, and they blend really well. I'm not being sponsored, just wanted to throw that out. With that said, let's get started. Welcome to the Inktober Challenge, and okay, for today we have It's Alex Clark, Illimation, Tim Tom, and Wolfie and Sweet Tunes. I sort of went a little all out on this because... That's what I do when I get new markers. I want to test them and myself, because why not? It's called a challenge for a reason, right? Okay, does anyone notice anything a little different about Alex? Nope. Nothing. Okay, the word for day six was husky, so I drew It's Alex Clark from his... Preparing for the Odd Ones Out fight. In this video, he drew himself super buff, which <laughs> would be for a fight he would have with James. The Odd Ones Out, if you didn't know that. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm weird, sorry. Now for Illy, I just had this cute idea of her and her cat Luigi riding on a broom in the night dressed in a wizard's hat. Or a witch's hat, however you want to interpret that. And little trinkets because the keyword for day seven was enchanted. I got a little behind on this because I had to stop filming since my mom said to. Don't you just hate it when you have a ma mother who constantly worries about your health? I sure don't. I did have a little fun mastering the hoo hoo markers while drawing this whole masterpiece. I love the way that the hoo hoo markers blended, forming the sunset like setting with thorns growing out of it. It was great, and there was plenty of color to go around during drawing this masterpiece. Even though I fell behind, I eventually caught up. Luckily, this next one is easy to draw. Tim Tom. I'm a big fan. I watched all of his videos, probably because he has only a few. This particular reference for where I got Whatever this is was in the video, my camping story. My, prob my drawing probably already spoils that it wasn't a very pleasant experience for Tim Tom because he is sunburnt, his clothes are ripped, and he looks like he's barely living. Day 8 was frail, so you can tell where I got that. <laughs> 
yeah, th- that was n- that was sure an interesting camping experience. Day nine was actually two people because they are a couple. Can you guess? One of them, the girl, is sitting on this swing because the key word for day nine was swing. While the guy is leaning in romantically. I had this idea that since these two collaborate together and they talk about each other, well, at least the girl does on her channel, why should I separate them into separate Inktober days? I am willing to intercept for the... For the only one animated rule per day for love. And love only. Sorry, headphone users. Can you tell now? It's it's Wolfie Chu and Sweet of Tunes being romantic. I'm not used to drawing romantic things, as you could probably see, but I think this turned out pretty well. I watched a few of Wolfie Chu's videos and one Jordan Sweeto video. Out of the two, Wolfie Chu comes more to mind when I think animation. She tells stories in this animated form with her animated character, which is a white-furred, blue-eyed, and blue-haired wolf, I'd think. I mean, her name is Wolfie Chu. And... As news, this this came out a month after when she did her face reveal, which was so exciting, but the events led up to that must have been devastating. I'm glad she was able to handle that, though. As for Jordan Suido, whom I have barely watched yet... He makes me think more of music when I visit his channel, where he does covers with both Pichu sometimes and other music stuff. I think he still is an animator though, because I trust Wikitubia's authority of classification for YouTube animators. Actually, I think maybe for music go to Jordan Suido for the music and for animations I would go to Sweeto Tunes. I believe you can see Wolfie Chu on both channels. I I just did a quick YouTube search. Don't don't trust me. And as for a final touch for this romantic part I wanted there to be like some more background so to enlighten the romantic mood so there's this tree of cherry blossoms that I drew really quick and that concludes it now here are days six through nine of my inktober challenge thank you for watching goodbye